So, Moschino is actually a combination of two. What's up guys? So again, you guys asked for uh, a video or videos on genetics and so I was thinking about it and even though we've done a lot with Moschino, we've never really explained or done a video explaining Moschino genetics. So I'm holding our girl Penelope, my girl Penelope, whatever, um, or she's kind of holding me. Um, so she is just a standard Moschino. She doesn't have any other genes going on. And so what I wanted to do was show her and explain to you guys exactly what Moschino means because there's a lot of misconception and or confusion around it. So Moschino is actually a combination of two different genes, okay? So uh, it is almost what we would refer to as a double visual het. Now, what do we mean by that? What Moschino actually is, it's the genes of mocha, and albino, Clark strain albino, combined on the same allele. And therefore, we see it expressed in, as a Moschino visually. So, what does that mean? Mocha is a recessive trait. I'm trying to keep her from, come on, don't go that way. Uh, mocha is a recessive trait, as is Clark strain albino. When you combine the two, visually, when you combine a, combine a visual mocha and a visual albino, you will get Moschino. Um, now, how does this work when you're breeding Moschinos? So, if you breed a Moschino to a Clark strain albino, you have any color face. Doesn't matter if it's purple, lavender, or white. You, that, and so let's, let's stop there for a second. Some people think that the color, uh, the phase of albino has something to do with how it will be expressed uh, with Moschino. It does not. If you breed a white albino, a lavender albino, or a purple albino to a, to a Moschino, you're still going to get the same results. It will just be a difference of what, um, what phase of albino the animals are het for, okay? So like this girl, Penelope, she is het purple, right? Because her, uh, one of her parents was a purple albino. So that's the only reason, that's the only way that, that the phase plays in with the albinism on, uh, on Moschinos. So back to breeding them. If you breed two Moschinos together, you are going to get more Moschinos, you're gonna get some albinos, and you will probably get some mochas depending on your, uh, your, your odds and the number of eggs that you have in your clutch. If you breed a Moschino to an albino, Clark strain albino, you're gonna get Moschinos and albinos, and you might get some normals, it's unlikely, but, it's, but it is possible. Um, then if you breed a Moschino to a mocha, you're going to get mochas, you're going to get some, uh, you might get uh, some Moschinos um, and, uh, sorry, and you, and you will probably get a couple albinos as well. So that's kind of one like really quick explanation on Moschinos. Uh, a lot of people, again, have a lot of misconceptions around them, but again, it's basically a double visual het for mocha and albino. So. Hope that helps you guys. You know we love Moschino here. We got a whole bunch of it. Um, we're actually, we'll probably cut in a little bit of footage of some uh, that we already did from uh, a previous video to show you some different examples of Moschinos when you combine them with other genetics. But this right here, this is a, just a standard Moschino. This is what they should look like, y'all. What's up, everybody? You can't tell we like Moschino here at Wildfire. <laughs> um, so, holding several different variants of Moschino because while well, single gene is badass, and that's what this big girl, uh, Penelope, is. So this is Penelope. She's our four-year-old, almost five-year-old uh, single gene Moschino. Um, she will breed this season. Um, she's, she's super pretty. She's a very good example of, a, of exactly what a Moschino should look like. If I can get her from around my leg, there we go. She's got a very white head. Um, she's not being super cooperative right now. Everybody's hungry. So it's been a minute since they've eaten, but as you can see, classic Moschino pattern, deep, deep dark tea positive coloring, gotta love it. This guy is Bonanza, self-produced here at Wildfire. As far as I know, and no one has proved me wrong on this yet, he was the world's first. Platinum Motley Moschino GC. Um, as far as I know, that is the world's first, was the world's first when I made him in 2018. Um, this guy will be three this year, 
and we have some plans to put him into rotation. And then Joe is holding the siblings to Bonanza. So that's Cash right there. Um, he's, uh, he's been a feature recently. That's our Platinum Motley Moschino male. That, that male I kept. Oop, hello. That doesn't feel good, girl. It's always, a, it's always an adventure, guys, when you try to wrangle multiple snakes like this. Um, but anyways, that's our Platinum Motley Moschino male, Cash. He's like neon, like bright, bright neon. The coloring on him is just unreal. Um, and that was why I kept him that and the markings that he has are just crazy. Um, and then Joe also has Nix, our female GC Moschino that is sister to both Cash and Bonanza. Um, so all these guys came out of the, the uh, 2018 clutch that I did and uh, they're all stellar examples of their genetics and that's why they're all still here. Um, not just the traditional, you know, single gene, but all sorts of different genes going on. We love Moschino here at, uh, at Wildfire. We love all T-positive, but Moschino especially we really love. Anyways, guys, have an awesome day. We'll see you soon. But I've got that